Okay, so I'd like very much to have success with this video. I, I stop and start it, um, and as a result, um, uh, I've been having some failures. But let's get to the point. Um, here's a, a cleft graft that was done by Paco Frosto um, a, two months ago. 65 days ago and um, he came out here to Rainbow and grafted this American Beauty onto three different species of rootstock. Um, Hylocerus undatus, Hylocerus um, costarricensis and a hybrid of um, Guatemalensis and undatus. So the American Beauty is the species Hylocerus guatemalensis and it struggles in this climate. It goes uh, yellow in the winter because I think the soils are too cold and in the summer it can break down to excess heat. So if we can successfully grow the American Beauty onto a rootstock that will override the climate climatic effect on it by either um, performing better in these soils or inducing a vigor that would overcome the heat, then we would have a successful clone, this American Beauty. But right now it uh, because of its sclerotic conditions in these um, uh, in, in, the, in this environment, the, the fruiting reflects in the quality of the fruit. And the fruit can break down, the fruit can have small sizes, the fruit can have um, reduced production. So this is the test. Okay, so here we have the second of three graphs. And this one, a bud is just beginning to emerge. I just took the plastic bag off today and uh, this one is on Hylocerus undatus, the Vietnamese varieties. This is a group of those Vietnamese varieties. Tends to be uh, quite vigorous. It's a little yellow now. We just put some fertilizer on it. It'll bring it out of that. But very vigorous um, variety on its own roots. And um, so that was the second. Okay, so here's the third. Um, this one's still in plastic. It has not um, emerged any growth. It is still viable. It's green. It's healing. But uh, until it starts growing vigorously, we do not know if it's compatible with this Costa Ricensis, the Lisa variety. Have some Lisas here. And you can see they're quite thorny. Oh boy, where is that plant? There it is. And uh, ouch. So um, it it does well in this environment. A little bit of a slow grower, so it could be reflected here in the fact that this shoot hasn't emerged yet. So this could be a relatively easy um, experiment to determine whether you get rootstock influence um, from the stock, oh, well I said rootstock influence, to the cyan actually, because we can compare with the, I have several hundred of the um, Guatemalensis American Beauties here, and we can compare pretty immediately whether we're getting chlorosis uh, throughout the winter um, or if we're getting, um, you know, uh, in, increased vigor. Now, we, we may not be able to see it from all three rootstocks, but we, could, we might be able to see it from at least one. And that would be enough to indicate to us that if we're getting... Uh, control of chlorosis that then you could 
make the assumption that you would could also increase production with by grafting or you could increase disease resistance or drought tolerance you know other other applications that would make grafting um, a, a worthy a, wor a worthy effort